What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Mech Ideas Demolition Crew, spelled like Motley Crew, C-R-U-E. Yeah. A little strange for the name, but this is quite. these are quite obviously homages to Top Spin and Twin Twist. Um, so for those of you who don't know, in G1 there was two figures called Jump Starters. And that was Top Spin and Twin Twist. Top Spin, Twin Twist. Uh, what they would do is they would just literally fold in half, you would pull them back, like this, let them go, they would roll forward, flip open, and do a flip and then stand up, uh, fully transformed. I do have the G1 jump starters, but they are in storage, so you're not, I'm not going to be able to pull them out for right now. Um, so these are, these, these guys are wreckers, as part of, if anyone's ever you know, read the comics, these guys are wreckers. Um, they are also brothers. Uh, they share a spark, and some gnarly stuff happens. And you should read the you should read last down of the records. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So these guys' fake names are Apex and Geminis. Yeah, whatever. Um, the only differences are this guy's got skids. He's got drills. He's supposed to be a plane, so he's got these little nubby wings. And this guy's supposed to be a tank, so he's got these fake treads. There's no wheels, they don't roll. It's just how they are. Um, notice the weapons. They're actually identical weapons. This is actually a hammer. There's two different ways you can store it in vehicle mode. So I just wanted to show you one in one. So you can either have it like this and have it be a third cannon, which is pretty cool. Or you can store it if you don't want to have it as a weapon. You can just store it like this. It splits apart to three pieces. And you can just store it in there. There's pegs in there and hold everything together. So there's are two viable storage options for you. So yeah, there's not a whole lot we can say about them in vehicle mode. When you don't store the hammer in there, it does leave a big cavity. As you can see, the way the hammer stores is just two holes right there. And there's pegs on the hammer. And they snap in there. But it does leave a big cavity if you don't store the, the hammer in there. So yeah, we're going to take a look and then let's take a look at the transformation Real quick so we're going to put twin tw uh, top spin on the side there for a minute we're going to take off the hammer uh, when it stores in here in, in vehicle mode there's tabs on the hammer itself As you can it's kind of hard to see but they just plug into holes right there um, like i sh said before it just snaps apart into three pieces that's how you store it. Underneath. Plug in. Okay. Put the hammer to the side. The guns just peg in. Pull them out. They are beefy pegs too. So for transformation, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come under here on the legs. And what you're going to do... These, the transformation, by the way, is kind of simple. It's not overly simplistic and it's not overly complicated. It's a very nice transformation. I do really like the transformation. But you're going to come under here and wiggle this free and it connects with a, there's a hook here and like a groove here. A uh, peg goes into this groove here. So when you plug it back in, you got to finagle that hook under and then peg it in like that and then it'll snap all together. So we're going to wiggle both legs free and just kind of have them doing the splits for now. And I'm going to come under here Again, these peg together. These are the arms, and they also peg together. Peg in a hole. They're um, opposite, like that, so they snap together. So we're just gonna, oh, and also pull these down first. Pull these to the side. You just want to have a big gap here. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna lift this whole front cockpit open, and it's on this double hinge. So you're gonna pull it back in behind. When you get it in there, there's going to be a gap here, and you're going to snap it together, just like that. So now we can pull the feet, the legs together. Just make sure um, sometimes when they come packaged, they come packaged like that, so they won't, the legs won't come down all the way. So just make sure it's rotated properly so the legs will come flat down. Flip the feet up. Now he can stand. Now we come to the back here, we're going to pull this flap back, and then we're going to rotate this around, 
and his head's a little tall, so you have to fold his head flat back in order to transform it. We pull the head forward. Um, there's a tab and a hole to put the tab back. Okay, then we just fold down the arms. Make sure the shoulders are the shoulders unfortunately don't peg in to the body. So you just gonna have to just lean them against it. Rotate these bits around. Fold the wings out. Give him his back wings. And we're gonna come over here to the to the hands. And you don't lift this panel up. That's what I was trying to do first. I was like, ah, I can't get it open. Because that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just lift up on this nub. Just the whole thing. Hold on. It's kind of tough. Then you rotate the whole fist around, the fist and form around. And then you snap it back down and just make sure the fist is proper. Do that again on this side. So you just lift up like that. Flip it around. And then we have him in robot mode. So hold on. There we go. So as far as weapons, he can either hold his guns. He can hold his hammer. You can do a lot of things here. So first of all, there he is with his guns. So that's one option. Take a just close look at the guns. Cool looking guns. Nothing crazy. So you can have him with his guns. Or you can have him with this hammer, or you can have any combination thereof. What I like to do is when I have him with this hammer, I just come along the back and plug the guns in his butt. Which is, you know, the top of the vehicle mode. Um, hammer just slides in his hand. You can either have him like that, push down, any way you want. So there he is with the hammer. You can kind you can't, eh, you can kind of get it. Oh, that came on pegged. He is very articulated. <laughs> so he's very poseable. That can lead to some shenanigans. Let's see. I think I tried this and it didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't really... You can kind of get him to hold it with two hands, but honestly, it's you're better off with just one hand. He has these crazy double jointed legs, so it's kind of hard to get him to pose. But once you do, it does look very cool. Come in hand. All right, so before I show, eh, you know what? Let me show the articulation real quick. Head is on a ball joint, full range of motion. You can position these wings any way you want because they are also on. They're on rotating hinges, hinges here, totally um, articulated, you can pose them any way you want. These bits are also on like sliding joints, um, so you can position these if you want to, but I just tend to leave them as is. Shoulders go in and out as part of the transformation, but you kind of don't want to do that. Hinges, oh, why is that side loose now? That's weird. Double elbow, I think? No, take that back. Why is that? That's kind of weird. Did I ever do that wrong the whole time? Oh my god! Haha! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had him transform wrong the whole time I had him. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, I was right the first time. You want it so the flippy part, the panel is up and the angle is away from him. But you do still have a double elbow. Good range of motion. Um, does have a waist swivel, hinges at the hip, rotates at the hip, up at thigh. Now because of the transformation, because it has to bend, he has this um, extra articulation here at the knee. He has a normal knee. Let's see how he can bend almost 90 degrees, just a little short. Let me get back in. But as you can see, he can also squat. Poop, if you want. Foot pivots 
forward and back for the transformation, but also has its own um, ankle pivot independent because it's on this um, like a pin kind of deal. So yeah, there is top spin, uh, twin, yeah, top spin, apex. And now we're going to get twin twist transformed and we'll show him off right here. So here we have them together and here we have top spin along with twin twist. I'm going to just pull him over the side to take a quick look at him so you can see the differences. There's his face and you see he's got drills instead of uh, fins kind of. Um, the colors are basically reversed. Whereas he's a white body with blue parts, he's a blue body with white parts. Other than that, they are, they are an identical mold. Except for the coloring and for these bits, and he has the wings and he has the tank treads. Other than that, completely identical. You can even see they're basically the same. Um, these are just molded. This is a, a separate piece, uh, glued together or molded together like differently. And they can just swap them out, so it's basically the same mold. So yeah, there we go. First of all, these guys are absolutely amazing. If you are a fan of the Wreckers, or if you just like neat little Transformers, you owe it to yourself to get these guys. First of all, they are insanely cheap. Um, did I mention who they buy? They're made by Mech Ideas. I don't know if I said that earlier, but um, they are insanely cheap. They're seventy dollars for the set. I think they're forty dollars individually. Just buy the set. You can't have one and not the other. That's just silly. Um, one other thing you do get, uh, I don't know if it's a pre-order, if it was a pre-order bonus, if they're just including it with the first run, if they're going to be included with all the runs, but you do get, in a little baggie, which just shed something on me, um, you do get an extra head. And this is a head for Topspin, wherein, if you read the last end of the records, you will know what this is about. But for those who haven't, I'm not going to spoil it. But let's just say bad things happen to him. So this is to reenact that scene if you wanted to um, have that on him. You could totally just pop the head off the ball joint and pop this head on. And you can totally have him all messed up and gnarly. Totally cool. Totally awesome. Nice little bonus. So the only gripes I have right now are stickers. They definitely need, they don't even need a lot because they have all this nice little painted detail here in the in the shoulders. He's got a little bit different molded shoulders but you can see the nice little detailed yellow. This one's got the red. You got the nice little chrome details on the treads, on the knee, on the shins. Uh, you got the cool little chest. Move your giant hammer out of the way. Like I said, super articulated. Sometimes hard to what you want. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, nice little detail on the chest. He's got the chrome bits. Um, that's kind of detailing where the the jump start mechanism was because it's just a spring on a hook and it went into a hole like that and then when it, it would release the hook, well the hook would open and it would flip him open. And that's where I think it was on this side? I forget. I think it was on this side. That's why there's nothing over there because that's where the <laughs> the mechanism was. But I mean, these guys are just screaming for Autobot logos here. Um, there's also grooves for Autobot logos here on their backs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wait for a repro label set or if I'm just going to stick a couple of repro label uh, Autobot symbols on there myself. Because I don't know how much more detail they could possibly add. So I'm, I'm thinking they might not even come out with this set because you can just put the Autobot logos on and be done with it. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye out. If nothing comes out, I'll just throw some stickers on them. Um, I can't say enough good things about these guys. They're just perfect little toys. They're absolutely perfect little representations of Top Spin and Twin Twist. Their alt modes are, you know, perfect little homages to the originals while still being unique, even though they're the same mold. I mean, the only thing they could have done is give us jump starters again, which actually they did do. Just a little side note: if you look, if you go into Toys R Us right now and you look for the um, Spider-Man figures. Those are also made by Hasbro, and you will see um, there are Spider-Man figures that are jump starters. They have like a lizard and a Spider-Man, 
like like three or four Spider Mans, Spider Men, Spider Man, Spider Mans, and uh, like a lizard and stuff. They look like little tanks, and they're jump starters. They have the they're identical to the same. They're, I'm pretty sure they might have even used the same molds. But I mean, it's kind of crazy that they brought back the jump starters to uh, Spider Man. Just a side note, just rambling a little bit. But yeah, if you have any doubts in your mind about these guys, if you are the slightest fan of the Wreckers, you totally, 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 totally owe it to yourself to pick these guys up. Get them now before they sell out, because I don't know how many of these they're going to make. Um, they're very cheap. I mean, 70 bucks for two third-party figures of this high quality. Uh, I just can't say enough about them. I'm totally looking forward to everything Mech Ideas does from now on. Uh, just get them. Get them, get them, get them. Stop. Stop this review right now. Go buy them. So this has been the video review for Mech Ideas, Demolition Crew, Apex and Geminis, aka Top Spin and Twin Twist.